Hello and happy Friday, LinkedIn. I just received the brand new iPhone 11 Pro XS Max and I wanted to showcase the enhancements and or changes made to the front facing depth camera, the infrared flood emitter. So I can obviously see here that I believe they've upgraded it to at least 60,000 points from 30,000 points from before. The resolution is a little bit higher. Uh, it's a higher frequency. You can I was testing it downstairs um, with one of my infrared cameras. You can see it's actually flickering a lot more than it used to. Um, and obviously I think next year they're going to put uh, some type of a time of flight sensor on the rear of the iPhone uh, uh, 12 uh, coupled with the eyeglass uh, you know solution they're gonna be offering for the spatial computer it's it's riddled the AR kit 3 is riddled with all these references to it and, and the code names it's actually pretty exciting uh, but I want you to think about every single day how many times you walk up to a piece of electronics either in your car or at work or, or, or so on and so forth even industrial equipment and so on and so forth where you're going up you're pressing a button you're turning a dial you're turning a radial something to get some kind of effect you're turning the volume up you're changing a state well in the future all of these types of sensing devices, vertical cavity surface emitting lasers, time of flight, coded light sensors, and even just machine learning algorithms with object detection and instant segmentation and just like finger manipulation um, is going to enable an unbelievable amount of new types of interactions. You won't physically have to press any types of buttons anymore. And I believe the, the bigger uh, opportunity here is in the automotive sector. Obviously, entertainment is going to be massive and airlines and so on and so forth. Surveillance is huge, coupled with machine learning algorithms. And you basically can detect, you know, uh, I think right out the gate with this new iPhone, it has about 100 uh, 150 di uh, different types of objects that it could recognize um, and that's you know you compare that to the new AI vision dev kit by Microsoft I think they have 183 so that's amazing it has a whole chip in here dedicated to machine learning so if you think about all the different types of applications once these sensors become embedded throughout all of the different types of electronics uh, that we use every single day it's just gonna be fascinating to see how people integrate these types of gestures and in into the new age it's new this next transformational paradigm but you guys let me know what you think about this if you have any questions about integrating this new depth sensor into your old applications um, let me know I can definitely help you out with that and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this have a great Friday and a wonderful weekend